Now we have to do the difference mode. Mode two, we called diff. And you can probably imagine the reason we called it diff is now we're going to subtract the two equations of motion, mg over L xA minus k, xA minus x b minus d equals m x a dot dot and minus m g over l x b minus d oh my god let's see i just i've got a curse with that d minus k x b minus d minus x a no there we go yeah equals m x b double dot and now we're going to subtract them like we're in grade school because if this equals this and that equals that then this minus this has to equal that minus that so there we go and we end up with um, minus mg over l uh, times x a uh, minus x b minus d i'll write that as x a minus x b and i'll just go and write plus d Keep it simple. All right, so we're not distributing that negative sign, it's just minus xb, which makes the d plus. And then minus k. <clears throat> and last time, this term was nice because it went away. Well, this time it's not going to go away. <clears throat> if we have xa minus minus xa, that's 2xa, it adds. And then if we have minus xb minus d, minus xb minus d, that's minus 2xb minus d. Like that. And all that's times k. Like that. And that's equal to m x double dot a minus x double dot b. So there is a subtraction. Well, we can do that. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Because <laughs> there's a k there. Never mind. That's where we are. So let's see if we can write that um, is an equation of motion. Well, we're going to pull our same trick. <coughs> Here our coordinate is xa minus xb plus d, so we're going to turn this into the second derivative of xa minus xb plus d. And I'm going to pull the m, the m underneath and divide by the m, and I'm going to notice that these have the same coordinate if I pull the 2 out, right? So it's really minus 2k, and then they both have the difference coordinate. So the difference coordinate here, pull out the 2, we have it here, add a d and take two derivatives, we have it there. All right, so that's how I'm going to write it just to prepare you. I guess I'll actually do it now instead of talking about it. So it's going to be minus um, g over l for that term, because the m went away, and then minus uh, plus 2k over m for this term. For that term, because we divided through by an m, that's times the difference coordinate, xa minus xb plus d. And that equals just the acceleration, xa minus xb plus d. Dot, dot. Right. And then that's our difference equation of motion. Yeah, there's a minus sign there. Our difference equation of motion. And we have been taught that when we see that equation of motion, we know what it means. We know that, that the solution, um, this is the, we know the solution is sinusoidal motion oh my god motion at omega equals the square root in this case g over l plus 2k over m g over l plus 2k over m so it's saying that uh, it goes a little faster well, let's see if that's true. Let me get this thing out. I'm getting too old for this. All right. <clears throat> so there we have two. And I'll put one here, here. Now they're officially coupled. All right. And now I'm going to put them in the difference mode. Here we go. So I'm going to pull it apart like that. And let it go like that. Let me make it not quite so wild. There we go. There's the difference mode. And before we measure the, the uh, spring constant, we can actually, or before we measure the rate, we can think about it a little bit. 
this one does involve the spring, clearly. Right? The spring is moving, the spring is applying forces. And sure enough, our equation of motion does involve the spring. So unlike the sum mode where it took the spring out, physically this keeps the spring in, and it's good because the spring is actually doing something. So now let's see how many periods we're looking at. Um, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I got about uh, 14.8. So I've got uh, ten, ten times the period. So the period is 1.48 seconds. That's a little faster. That's a little bit shorter period than before. So omega is 2 pi over that period. So the omega, if you calculate that, oh, it's about 4.3 radians per second. So it is faster. Now, is it the right amount faster? Well, then we would look over here and say it's the square root of g over l. So that's 9.81 over 0 0.6, which, by the way, is the length from the, the pivot point to the center of mass um, is about 0 0.6, plus 2, 2 times the spring constant of this spring, which I haven't told you, but I have measured, and it is 3.4 newtons per meter, plus 2 times 3.4 newtons per meter over the mass, which I believe is 3.3 kilograms. And if you're looking at that approximately, you realize all these roughly cancel. It's really basically 16 plus 2. It's roughly 18. You take the square root, and you get about 4.5 radians per second. So not a perfect match. But we do see that the frequency, the natural frequency, is a little bit faster uh, for this mode, just as it should be. So that's the two normal modes, the only two normal modes of this system. Now we have a good understanding of them. Now we can think about how to use them.